Oh, it's so cute. Okay, okay, we're fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna take a sip. Yes, I did buy that. <laughs> it's five extra dollars. Do I regret it? No, for this game, absolutely not. Wait. I gotta turn it up. Oh, wait, it's so... I'm sorry, the music's just really different. It's really thrown me for a loop. Oh, oh, this is cute though. Why is this so cute? <laughs> okay, let me know how the audio is when we actually get into game. Oh, we not, em we not emotional. A coward again. <laughs> Titus, how are you doing? Did not know this game is on PS5. Yes, pretty much the second I heard it was, I'm like, that's where I'm getting it. Oh, look at the time changing and the lights turning on. Feel like it's a bit quiet still. There we go. I've turned it quite far up. It might get louder in game. All right. So just let me know how that is. New game. It all started with a letter. Can't remember how many years it had been since I got one. Oh. <laughs> See, I had this friend once. We used to share all of our hopes and dreams with each other, and the sender of this letter? His kid. The letter was all about life in the city. The kid asked a bunch of questions about farming, and at the end wrote, I'd like to try working the farm. To a city kid, I guess life in Forgotten Valley must have seemed appealing. Well, it took me by surprise, I'll say that much. I closed my eyes and I saw my old friend smile just like it was yesterday. Takes guts to travel all the way from the big city to the Forgotten Valley, a place most folks, well, forgot about. Oh god, this music's still loud. <laughs> I wasn't prepared! It's just like an OG! God, that scared the crap out of me. Campbell, but I'm sorry if I'm missing people coming in, by the way. Hello! It's here, it's finally started. Let me take a look here. What do we got? Okay, we got- okay. Oh, oh, we looking cute though. Um, I want that one. This is so vastly different. You didn't really have character selection back in the day. Character creation. Music jump scare, oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's have a lighter color. Look at how pretty we look already. This is perfect. Your face, skin color, and eye color can't be changed later. Are you sure you're okay with this look? Yes. Did you choose the same one? Are we just gonna make the same character? Yellow eyes, become a persona, shadow, or a Xehanort. Okay, so there's the, the OG female hairstyle. Oh, these are all so different. Oh my goodness. That's probably it. That's probably it. But, oh, just to kind of get a look, right? Alrighty. We got hair colors. Um, I think I messed up with default for this one. Bob's are cute. You know which one you're going to get? <gasps> Do you go with the bun instead? Oh, the outfit. See, okay. I'm very nostalgic for the OG outfit. Like, super, super nostalgic, but this is cute too. And her boots aren't nearly as big as they were in, in uh, her game. Oh. Okay, enter a name. So if anyone is new here, by the way, my name is Crystal. I play a really wide variety of games these days, but I love me a cozy farming sim. Like, that is always my go to at the end of the day. Oh. Yeah, so here we go. He, him, she, her, they, them. I love that. But the ladies can have the overalls. Yeah, it seems like they, they're just whoever, whatever outfit you want, you can have, which is really nice. I think her name is Crystal with a K. A lot of people do, and I never bother correcting it. It's just like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's fine. Speaking of pronouns, yes indeedy. 
Uh, you'll have to stick with your name and pronouns once you finalize them. Is that okay? Yes. Oh, God, the sound effects. Sorry. <laughs> so, you're Crystal, huh? I'm real sorry to hear about your old man. He was a good guy. Gonna make a lot of friends in the next life, I bet. I gotta say, though, you must take after him. No average youngin' would want to pack up and come to Forgotten Valley of all places. Well, once you spend a little time here, I'm sure you'll figure it out if it's really the life you want. Oh! Alright, this is it. Oh, turn that up. Turn that up. I need to hear more about that. <laughs> is it good? Okay, good. I'm gonna turn up my own ears. I really like this remix of Breeze. This is nice. But Mikeron, should you get this game? I mean, I've only just started and I'm also very, very biased. I will admit that. This is a childhood favorite of mine. But so far, so good. <laughs> this is land your old man and I found. The buildings are run down, sure, but you can still use them. So it's fertile enough to grow crops on too. See this pasture? If you spread some fertilizer on it. Okay, so they're taken from uh, another wonderful life. Uh, you'll have a place for your livestock to graze. Isn't it good, Jacob? It's amazing. Just so nostalgic. So how about it, kid? Ready to take over the farm? Uh, let's get started. That's what I like to hear. I'm sure your old man's cheering you on, too. Come on, then. Might as well give you the grand tour. This here's the barn. It's where you'll raise cows, horses, and sheep. I'll take you inside later. So this is the new shipping thing, yeah? Yeah. Here's the shipping bin. Get to know it, because it's going to be your best friend. If you've milk or any other products to ship, put them in here. I'll sell them for you at the city market the next morning. Oh, crow, I know. If there's something you want me to buy, write it down in the ledger here. Over there's your storage shed and your food storage. Uh, if your bag ever starts getting too full, you can throw items you don't need into one of those. Well, the smaller items you buy and any profits you make here. Other folks might leave gifts, rewards around here too, so keep an eye out for those. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it seems like what they've done is they've gotten rid of, there was like the shipping building in the OG, so you had to go through a door to access the shipping bin, the ledger, and your got fridge. Memorized. I do. I do got it memorized. So it's almost like they got rid of the loading screen there, which is kind of nice. Uh, this is the coop, you might have guessed, but this is where you'll raise your chickens. Uh, there's one of your fields. You can plant seeds there, but you'll need a hoe to plow the, sorry, <laughs> to plow the soil first. Oh god, this is off to a good start. Speaking of which, I got a few packs of seeds and some basic tools for you. Try using them when you get a chance. Oh, <gasps> Tater! I see you, but I don't see you, but soon. There he is. Okay, chat. Do you guys go pointy-eared or floppy-eared? I know which one I'm choosing. <laughs> it is mandatory. There's a couple stray dogs settled in here, and it looks like they've already warmed up to you. All right, all right. I'll let you keep one, but just one, all right? I ain't a huge fan of dogs. Did Highland go floppy? Flops? Hardest choice in the game? Floppy? Pointy? Now go on and pick a favorite. Oh! <laughs> it has to be the pointy-eared friends. I'm... I don't know. I've always loved it, and now it does look a bit more like our mascot tater. So... All right, then. You gotta... You gonna name it or what? It is Tater. We all knew it. Pointy ear, because it looks like your actual dog. I always go floppy ear and name him Brownie in every Harvest Moon. You know what's funny, Crow? I think I grew up naming my dogs in Harvest Moon Brownie as well, actually. Sounds good. I'll try to find an owner for the other pup next time I head to the city. And again, I can't remember. 
I can't remember if I read this somewhere or if I thought this up myself. So I, I probably didn't think it up myself. But I always have had this kind of little like thing in the back of my head that if you choose the pointy ear puppy, the floppy eared one is the one that goes to Mineral Town because it's always floppy eared, I think, in that game. And it's just, I don't know. I just always thought it was perfect. <laughs> So I'll build a little one, a doghouse too. He derived, how are you? Welcome on in, friends. Oh, everything looks so good. <laughs> and this here is your house. Tried to fix up a bit before you arrive, so you should be able to settle right in. Uh, oh, my house. See that cabin over there? That's where I live. That covers the main facilities. Ain't much, but if you save up, maybe you can expand some of them. Oh, before I forget, I said we go in the barn later, didn't I? Well, it's later. Follow me. All right, chat. What are we going to name him? Or her. What are we going to name her? How's my Oliver? He's doing good today. Bought you a cow as a welcome present. Her feed bin is all set up over there. Oh, and she'll need a name, too. Alrighty. What are we naming our first cow? I always name her Betty. Always, even in my original like YouTube playthrough we did. Queen Bathilda the Third. Spot. Mistake. No. No. <laughs> Random. That's bad for two reasons. Butter Buttercup is actually really cute. I do love me some food-based names. In general. Luna Burger. <laughs> okay, maybe not that sort of food-based. Tipper, hamburger. You did Daisy this time. Food based spaghetti. Milk bag 1.0. <laughs> Poor milk bag. Maleficent. You guys are good with these names, dear lord. <laughs> Guacamole. Um, think of something dairy based, friends. Let's try to keep it within reason. Try to think of something dairy. Maybe let's not be so vulgar. Stay away from the meat. Google is adorable. Remembered we get a cat. Sleek cat will be Luna. That's a good name for it, too. Low key. Custard? Custard is cute. Cataclysm. <laughs> Why do you guys have all the best ideas? I really could never come up with these. Cheese. Just straight cheese. Muna Baby Bell? That could work. Daryl, <laughs> Pepper Jack, Cream, Cream is cute, Milkshake, ooh, Milkshake though, and then we can always uh, come out and be like, do our milkshakes bring anyone to our yard, and then Celia or, Mar or Matthew are gonna be like, yeah, <laughs> which by the way, we'll get into those two later, but I, we have a, we have a poll, or a vote, sorry, Turkey, unfortunately, Cream cannot be accepted for some reason, why? What? Will it accept a milkshake? Oh, oh no, milkshake won't fit. No, I vote cream. All right, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna, I'm assuming you're very right and that cream won't work, but let's see. Okay. Custard. Custard is cute. I do like that. No milkshakes bringing anyone to the yard. We don't got any milkshakes, chat, which I know is realistic, but like, come on now. You don't gotta rub it in my face like that. <laughs> uh, cus... Cus... Custody. Rude. <laughs> Why is cream a bad word? I don't know. Custard is cute, though. Custard the cow, got it. Custard, huh? I like it. She's our first animal, so take good care of her. She gave birth about 10 days ago. She'll so... Ooh, English. Uh, so she'll produce plenty of milk. As long as she's healthy, you should be able to milk her twice a day. So that is another thing from original that's a little bit different from... Oh, they changed the moo. Hmm. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this. 
<laughs> but yeah, you, there's like a whole system where to give milk the cow actually needs to have given birth within a certain amount of time. Um, so you have a lot of babies on the farm usually. And yeah, I don't know the whole timing thing. I don't remember what it is to like make sure you always have a steady supply, but uh, I think that about sums up the farm. Oh wait, we've got to set on a name for it. Any ideas? Alrighty. Oh, Oreo, that's a cute name. Uh, do you guys have any ideas for a farm name? If we don't have any ideas, I will name it Tater Farm. Um, wonder if... Oh, that could work, Sparks. Maybe next time. Um, what was I going to do? What was I going to say? Sorry. Um, actually, you know what? Before I start asking for farm farm... <laughs> before I start asking for suggestions... We have eight slots to work with. Eight um, letters maximum. Tater Valley Farm. Oh, Burger King Starter. See, like, I'm tempted to go Starter Farm because it, it is our first one altogether. Or Simply Farm or the Farm Farm Farm. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Welcome on in. Um. Farm farm is is kind of Pelican Farm. Farmy McFarm Farm. <laughs> farm Farm is kind of iconic, I have to admit. It is kind of a thing on the channel. <laughs> Ollie's farm. Tater Top Farm. I don't know. How, how are we feeling about farm farm? Are we not sure? I love that it shows you farm after you have input the name, though. Or, like, to the side. I don't think Simply Press will fit. We have eight letters. Shinra farm. Don't tempt me with a good time. Beautiful and poetic farm farm farm. Potato farm. That's kind of cute. Midgar farm. I don't know if a farm in Midgar would be very good. Fair warning, by the way, friends, we do have an ad break coming up in about a minute, just to give you that heads up. Uh, we're just doing intro stuff, though, so you're not going to miss any gameplay, at least. Rose Waffle. <laughs> um, yeah, farm does not look like a word anymore, I agree. Um... Sixteen. <laughs> Such farm, very farm, exuberant farm. <laughs> Calico farm. Um Farm the farm. So excited, I forgot about the coffee I was brewing. No, go get your coffee. Don't be forgetting about your coffee. I got my energy drink, you gotta stay caffeinated. Um You know this is our farm together. You guys are the starters, so I think it's going to be Starter Farm. As funny as Farm Farm is. I'm so tempted with Tater, you have no idea, but is it weird to name my farm after my dog? I name everything else after my dog. I don't even have a dog, it's a plushie for anyone curious. Starter Farm Farm. No, should we go with Tater Farm? Or Tater Tot Farm? I'm sorry for the indecision, by the way. This Welcome on into my streams if you're new. This is... The game knows. The suggestions know. <laughs> Tater... Oh. Oh, no, you're right. Uh, would Tater Tot be capitalized? Or Tot be capitalized, do we think? Or should I just leave it Tater Tot? With no capitalization. <laughs> No stress, this is the most difficult part. Ah, uh, Nova, thank you so much for the raid. What's Pokemon Flux? What's that all about? I hope you enjoyed your stream. Welcome on in. Peter's the life of this farm. Name your dog after your farm. True. I'm here for this lore. Potato farm. Do we like potato better than tater tot? Potato or tater tot, friends? 
I'm cool with both of those. They're cute. It's a fan game. Oh, I see. And you were playing uh, Webkins as well? No worries, Beffer. I hope you're having a good day. Potator. I think just tater. Potator. I'm seeing a lot of potaters. Well, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope that that alert isn't too loud. Y'all can let me know. Okay. This time for sure. <laughs> Potato farm. It's a good volume. Oh, are you going to go pick it up? I'm so excited for everyone to either get this game for the first time or revisit it like I am. Potato farm. I think this is good. I'm sorry, Takagura. We've just been sitting here waiting for the longest time, but... Potato Farm hmm, has a nice ring to it. Sure, he's like, what? What did I just do? <laughs> well, I've got you. I may as well introduce you to the locals. I'm no social butterfly, but a youngin like you is sure to charm the heck out of them. Ready to go? I am. Hmm, what's the matter? Oh, cool. Okay, they let you pass the intros in this version as well. But no, I do want to meet everyone. We got to go see um, all the cuties. All right, let's get to it then. Oh, they look so good. Here's the layover in. Okay, they call it something different here. Uh, Tay runs the place with his wife, Lou. Lou? Lo? These are very different names. Uh, their son, Rock, lives with them too. Jacob, thank you so very much for the sub. Welcome on into the starters. Enjoy your emotes. And thank you so very much for that, friends. My goodness. You, we've really crushed the sub goal and I've been live for like 30 minutes. Thank you so, so very much. Oh, really, Nova? Oh, and... There's a girl named Nami who's staying up on the second floor. Layover puns are my love language. <gasps> Nina! This is Gary. Oh! Right, okay, so some of these name changes are going to take me a while to get used to. I'm used to this being Galen. Or Galen, I always said Galen. Uh, Nina's still the same, though. This is Chris. <laughs> That's all she has to say about her. <laughs> That's Chris's husband, Sully, and their son, Hugh. Okay, bear with me, friends. This is really going to throw my mind for a bit of a loop. <laughs> I've known them as so-and-so so, so for my entire life, pretty much. AB! So excited to be visiting a wonderful life again. Same Press party. here. Thank you so very much for the 41 month resub. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Gavin here is the owner and head barista at the Bluebird Cafe. Yeah, it's not the blue bar anymore. Molly helps him out part time. I didn't realize how many name changes there were. I knew of like Matthew and Molly, but... Roma, uh, Romana here uh, owns the villa where she lives with her granddaughter, uh, Lumina. Their butler over there is called Sebastian. Yeah, it's the actual translation. Oh. Uh... I think the one time I actually got far, far enough to marry in Another Wonderful Life, I actually did go for uh, Gustafa. Uh, the guy playing guitar, that's Gustafa. He's a real character, always strumming some tune or another. I'm so excited he's a bachelor. This is so cool. That guy over there is Gordy, a man of few words, but a real passionate artist, apparently. Okay, chat. <laughs> I think this is a good time to mention that the two characters to your left here are two marriage candidates, and it's the two who I'm not sure which I want to marry. Whoever I marry on stream, I'll marry the other person off stream, pretty much. So, if you guys would like, you can do exclamation mark vote. Click that. 
and choose whichever one you prefer. I cannot marry both. I'm sorry. I wish. <laughs> I love both of these two. I, I've gone for both before, although I don't think I ever fully married um, Matthew. Go gay for Pride Month. <laughs> I love Celia, though. She is like the favorite. They're, they're both cute. I love them. So that's Vesta. She runs the agricultural farm here. Over there is Matthew, her little brother. Uh, Cecilia helps. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to point this out, friends. Underneath Cecilia's name. Why does Takakura have a better booty than I do? <laughs> what has he got going on back there? <laughs> they can't put her name above that and make me, like, not look at it. Dear Lord. Anyway, um... Cecilia helps them both with the farm work. We sell seeds here, so take a look at their stock when you get a chance. I'm just... I, we needed to all see it. He's got that cake. Oh, Pumpkin Days, I really hope you enjoy it when you get it. A few other folks live in that direction. We've got the twins who craft fireworks and an oddball scientist. Best not to ask about his experiments. Plus... So it's farmer cakes. <laughs> Kekakura. There's an uh, sorry, archaeological. Oh no, there's an archaeologist. Archaeologist. There we go. That's how you say that word. Uh, staying in a tent up by the waterfall there. He and his assistant dug up all sorts of weird stuff. All right, that should cover everyone. I'm sure you're exhausted. It's been a long day, so take it easy for now. If you think of any other questions for me later, don't you hesitate to ask. All right. Oh yeah, there's something I forgot to give you. What's this? Oh, camera! This camera belonged to your old man. Ain't the newest model, obviously, but it does the job well enough. Let's try taking a test photo real quick. Oh my god, yes. I am so excited. You can use it whenever you're feeling, uh, photographic. <laughs> now get some rest, kid. You've earned it. Oh, I've never seen a nature spray like that before. Oh, I always oh, I love their designs. Hey, hey, who could it be? Beats the heck out of me. Oh, wait, where's Ace? We found them in game. <laughs> oh, no, did chat ruin it? Wait, what's this? I know, I love the, found the fact that they're just reusing the sound effects. 69%. <laughs> uh, as far as I know, we're the only nature sprites in Forgotten Valley. Yeah, yeah, so what are we looking at then? Good question. Hey, buddy, what's your name? Crystal. God, just you're a nature sprite named Crystal. Roger that. The name's Ace. Nice to meet ya. Um, I'm Jack. Nice to greet ya. And my name's Hart. Let's all be friends, okay? I'm... Again, name changes are really going to throw me for a loop for a really long time. It's going to be a good 10 plus hours in. Oh my god, we're actually here. <laughs> I am like... Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm panicking, okay. Oh. <gasps> oh! It seems like affection has redeemed a tater takeover. Tater, where's your... Where's your thing, bud? There you go. Look at how cute he is. Again, shout out to Rick Clay. This was done very quickly. I'm so happy <laughs> you got it done before the game actually came out. I'm so, so thankful. Thank you once again. Sorry, people had to see him. Look at how cute he is. <gasps> oh, Super Saiyan asking the real questions. I don't think we'll have the bathroom until year two, though. Or year three? Year two. Isn't he cute? But yeah, you guys get tater. So we have our cooking. Oh, this is exactly the same! Here's a six hour forecast. While we do have some light cloud cover today, the weather should be mostly sunny. Why do they have a picture of my farm on TV? I don't think I've ever noticed that that is my farm. 
It's kind of the dew drop village to see what's biting in the rivers around here. Oh, no bathroom. Nope. Oh, thank you so much, Reclade. Uh, Amy, I know that there's two different weathermans that can pop up. Yeah. Luck today is amazing. Honesty is the best policy. The elderly might bring you some happiness. Oh, and look at the board. Wait. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, wait. <laughs> I am overwhelmed. Encyclopedia. Animals by... Oh. Oh. <gasps> Oh, this gives me so much more stuff to work towards, because now it's actually tracked. Corkboard. That's cute. Farm is the only one that matters. <laughs> Takakura's notes. Starting off about the farm. Okay, we got some, some tutorial stuff there. Okay. Hey, Crystal, wait up a sec. Before you go out, don't forget to check Takakura's notes. You can find them on your side table. Yeah, his notes have lots of helpful stuff in them. Check him out before you go. I just... Oh. Okay, all right. Well, you know what? Valley life. You've got lots to learn about farming. Uh, I ain't much, but I hope these notes will answer your questions. First, you gotta learn how to make a living. Try to sell any crops you pick. More profits means more facilities. Walk around the valley and chat with the locals too. Give them enough gifts and they'll take a liking to you. Got four seasons here. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter in that order. Each season lasts about 10 days, so use your time wisely. The year goes by faster than you might think. So yeah, the game is shorter in that regard. It's not like the 30, 30 day or even 28 day months. Uh, we have a festival for each season. Check your calendar for more info. There are good times to socialize. Farm work takes a ton of stamina. Be careful you don't overdo it. Eat proper meals and get plenty of rest. If you work too hard or get hungry, you'll lose stamina pretty fast. Be sure to eat a hearty meal. Oh yeah, Fogu's gonna be the place to be for this. Potential partners, if you plan on staying here for the long haul, you'll probably want to find a partner to spend your life with. Hopefully you'll find somebody who really clicks with you in your first year here. Go get him, kid. Oh my god. Those cakes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop. Oh my god, it just looks so good. I can't even. I am so overwhelmed. You are tiny in that doghouse. Hater's house. Yeah, you gotta marry in the first year. Hey, hey, hey! These are one of your fields. If you're gonna find out more about raising crops, don't forget to check Takakura's notes. <laughs> Bonk. Okay, so they're giving you a lot of... A lot of uh, tutorial here. Yeah, it does look a lot better from boot, I agree. Uh, till your fields with a hoe before sowing seeds. Uh, each crop you grow is in one of three different categories. Basic roots and veggies, root crops, and tree crops. Crops thrive in different seasons, so make sure you read the labels and plant your schedule. Sorry, had to. Uh, need to be watered daily, but trees grow just fine without it. Keep an eye on the shade and color of your soil. If it's lighter, that means your crop could use a drink. Be careful when planting trees, they need space to properly grow, so leave plenty of room for them. I know, same here. I'm so excited for new people to experience just the beauty that is this game. You got two small fields right now. You could probably make an amazing field out of that space in the back. Uh, soil quality varies between fields. The field next to the coop. Oh, we got a rainbow tater. <laughs> uh, isn't too fertile, but the one out is a bit better. Some crops only grow if the soil quality is good, so be sure you've got the right soil for the job. Uh, don't just plant seeds all willy-nilly. Some crops only grow in certain seasons or soil types. If you want to know the ideal conditions for growing a crop, examine the bag of seeds before you sow them. If your crops only grow in certain seasons, plant them as early as you can so they don't wither away. Alrighty, I was going for the... Uh... Aromatic herb? It's not called that no G. Okay, how do I how do I not Okay. Okay, this menu is gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> I was gonna say, how do I not pick this up? There we go. I gotta get all my goodies. Oh, and then this turns into the field in the end. Or eventually, I should say. 
Tater's outfit, isn't it cute? The space is for your animals if you have any questions about raising them. Okay, Takakura's notes. Thank you. Yeah, Rickley did an absolutely amazing job once again. I am so happy with it. Uh, I got a bargain coop. If you want me to order animals, write it in the ledger and I'll bring them here. Every animal needs to be fed. Feed them daily and you'll get plenty of byproducts like milk and eggs. Animals love to be brushed and snuggled too. I'm gonna run this place. You'll need cows, sheep, and goats. A horse might be good for getting around too. And get you cows and sheep. You'll have to buy goats from Van. I think I made a little website for you. I'm gonna have to look what other people like another way. Yeah, definitely keep an eye out. I feel like a lot of villagers in OG really like flowers, eggs, and milk, generally. Even fish, but... Uh, some animals come in different varieties. With cows, you can take your pick from normal brown, marble, or star. Different cows produce different varieties of milk, so try raising as many of them as you can. Let's talk about raising the barn. When you first get an animal, you'll want to pick a spot for its feed bin. Barn fits eight animals, but you will expand it. Oh, bless. You can expand it in this game. That's so nice. Uh, barn has a fodder dispenser. Any grass you cut gets stored there. You can put fodder in there, too. There's also an isolation space for pregnant animals. Put them there right before they give birth. Alrighty. So just like another wonderful life, it looks like we're going to have to fertilize this. How much money do we start off with? What's our menu like? Uh, that's system menu. Oh, the music. Okay, I'm here for this. Ooh, requests, okay. Potato farm, 2,400 gold. Wonders, excuse me. Achievements? I like a good achievement. Okay. Expenses and income. Okay, cool. Yeah. Byproducts, crops, crop seeds. We to play because it was from Blockbuster. My cat died because I didn't know you could go to the left side. Oh, yeah, where the food was. Right, we got our barn and our coop. Oh, and you can see their, their friendship and stuff. This is such an upgrade to the original. The original was so good, but there was also just a lack of menus almost. It was very hard to tell who liked you or, you know, what how your animals were feeling. Oh, maybe it is meant to be chat. <laughs> oh, everyone looks so good. Oh, my, ooh, okay. Man, my little by heart can't take this. <laughs> I can't take this. There's too many cuties. Oh, Sebastian, you're looking dapper, my friend. My goodness. I love... <gasps> oh, we can train him too? I love this. I love this. Okay, so that's everyone so far. Uh, I was given five tomato seeds. Grows in all soil types, grows quickly. And an apple seed grows in all soil types, but needs a wide enough space. Begins flowering in summer and fruiting in autumn. We also got some fertilizer. And the herbs I just picked up. Definitely affection, definitely. Feel free. I might not check him out right away, but... Ooh, that loading was so good. Hi, I'm back, apparently. Custard is in a pretty good mood. Can I snuggle you? Snuggles? Oh, it looks so nice in here. What on earth? I've heard you don't actually have, have to feed the dog in this version. Oh, no? Okay. I want to hug a cow so bad. <laughs> Same. Oh, God, that startled me. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I guess the pond is eventually going to be there, right? You're so cute! Okay, um... Can I not milk by hand in this game anymore? I know that was a thing in OG. Should I afford this again right now? Then again, I didn't play my copy of Mineral Town or Olive Town yet. Honestly, I'd start with those. They're both a lot of fun. Oh. No? Okay. 
Okay, I like that you can swap between them though. That's nice. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, the tool shed's missing, isn't it? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, there's the cow again. <laughs> Special delivery from the city, so I, I purchased, there's like a $5, like, couple different outfits sort of dealio. Uh, so spring cardigan, summer raincoat, autumn aviator jacket, and winter peacoat, and I think the Muku Muku outfit was, was free. Oh, chapter one, beginnings. Uh, wonder discovered, hey, 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 we found nice to meet you nature sprites, which means you reached chapter one, beginnings. You found one of the wonders so far. Uh, we found round noses and floppy ears. So we found two so far. Okay. Oh, are you derived? Trophy hype? Oh, Chad. They, oh. Pick up Tater. Look at him. Look at his little paws. <laughs> Tater looks happy and healthy. I'm glad. Train. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's, it's like in uh, another wonderful life here as well. Paw. There we go. Jump. Oh, small jump. Beg. And spin. Oh, this makes me so happy. Oh, there are my tools. Okay. Okay, I understand. Oh, did you get the deluxe pre-order? Oh, oh, sorry, sweetheart. Oh, dude. <laughs> they just kind of all fall around you there. Um... Really confused because affection in the befriend menu. For a second, I thought you named a villager affection. Sorry for reposting. Oh, no. I didn't. That'd be really funny, though. So I have heard very little stuff about this game ahead of time. But one thing I did hear, and maybe you people in chat can confirm or deny. I heard that fertilizer in this game isn't as tedious as it was in, like, another wonderful life. So if I plant fertilizer in one square, it can spread. Or, like, the grass can spread. Does anyone know if I'm actually onto something there? Did I hear wrong? Didn't think it's as expensive either. That's really good, because I remember that always kind of put me off another wonderful life a bit. Apparently that's right. Well. Oh, one way to find out. I think I'm going to focus on corners here then. We only got like three bags anyway. Or maybe one closer to the center. I can see we already have that over there. So, might not be the best move, but we'll find out. Oh my god, the sign. Okay. <gasps> I want to see what this is. I've been so excited for this. Making tomato salad. I like some tomatoes to make salads with. Most of the ones on the farm are for our clients, so I can't ask Vesta for any. Milky soup. Reason. I need the energy. Thanks. <laughs> So he give me watermelon seeds for it, and she give me eggs for it. Added the information. Okay, so it's added automatically. Learn the recipe for milky soup. Um, that is cute. Uh, ooh, where are my recipes? Can I go back to my kitchen and see? Also, hi. Oh, the camera still does the zoom in. Hey, how you doing? Oh my goodness, friends. I'm so excited. I, my face is going to hurt from smiling after today. It's a good day. Yeah, I like that it gives you like a little bit more to do. Make my recipe. Soup. I just need milk, I think. A soup uh, with a warm, comforting milk broth as its base. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. We are on a farm. Okay, so we got that. Let's go. That was for Gordy, right? Let's go take that to him. 
I do want to go see Celia and Matthew, but I'm I'm holding back a little bit. First impressions are important. <laughs> I know we kind of met them yesterday, but still. Honestly, Penny, Mineral Town's really fun. Um, I don't know if you're the type to really want to 100% everything. Mineral Town's a little bit annoying to 100%. There's a lot of like just time-based things. Oh, the sound effects <laughs> that like you know expects you to play for like. A ridiculous amount of years, but the gameplay itself is a lot of fun. Hi! Oh, you're cute! My goodness, I haven't seen you in person properly yet. You're, you're that farmer, right? The name's Gordy. I make art out of metal. Do I just have to, like... Oh, oh we got a map. Okay. Um... I guess I just hand it to him? Not anymore. Okay, got you. Need something? Um, I'm here about your request. Oh, okay, so I didn't even have to be holding it, I don't think? Thanks for going into all the trouble, I appreciate it. Here, have this as a thank you. <gasps> Water Malone seeds. Later. Thank you. Yeah, oh god. Isn't it nostalgic? It's the same for me. It's just there's some new sound effects, but for the most part, it's a lot of very iconic noises. OK, let's go see Celia. I want to upgrade my field level in front of Mail Town, but you can only do that once a year. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff that like elongated the gameplay in that, and it wasn't bad, but I also just don't want to sit there playing for that long. <laughs> Wish I could build up French with people by just giving them soup. <laughs> uh, you're the new farmer that moved in, aren't you? Crystal, right? How's life in Forgotten Valley been treating you? You know, I myself end up here after traveling all over the world, and before I knew it, I was running the inn. This looks so good. I know a lot of people were kind of hesitant on this art style. Um... I love it. I love it so much. Oh, the thing still makes the noise. <gasps> okay, wait, no, no. Hi, first off. You know, the raccoon that wanders around here, I get the feeling it doesn't like me very much. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. But first off, science. What happens when I go here? Might be nice to visit one of the faraway towns across the pass for a change of pace. The trip should... Oh! trip should take about six hours. Oh, no, not right now, but yes. <laughs> okay. I'll be back for you later. Um, fair warning, friends, we do have an ad break coming up just to give you... Oh, no. No, put away. There we go. Just to give you that little heads up here. <laughs> Thank you for voting, by the way. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want Matthew... Or Celia. I love the design for both. Celia has always been like a favorite, I have to admit. <gasps> right, Jojo? That would be amazing. I know as a kid, I always had it in my head that like there was a proper way to do it, but of course there wasn't. Just like had the old picking up and putting away sounds. I know those sounds kind of bug some people. I like them too, though. Oh, oh, sorry. Hey there, how's the farm life treating you? If you ever need any crop seeds, come find me. I'm more than happy to share the extras we have. And if you grow crops, you'll want to ship them out to the city. Just don't steal away my clientele, all right? So you're looking to buy something today? Um, yeah, actually. All right, we've got plenty, so take your pick. Uh... Mendelin, no, but the auto message should actually start right when the ad starts. I couldn't get it to go earlier without having the timing desync if something went wrong, unfortunately. See, there it went. <laughs> um, so we do have some tomato seeds. I don't know if I want just like a full s thing of uh, tomato or if I should get some watermelon as well. There it went and then there's an ad. <laughs> I love that they actually tell you where things or when things grow now, because that was always a thing in the original. 
Um, I think the field hold held 20. If, if it's the same size field, that's the other thing. I don't know how big the fields are. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll get five more tomato seeds, five more watermelon seeds for now. What's the ad? Now I'm intrigued. <laughs> Rebecca's like, I want the ad. Want tomato seeds. Five of them will cost 150 gold. Yep. Are you done shopping? Not yet. Not yet. I might be back, but... We'll see. Ironically, on subs, it's just <laughs> I need to see this ad campaign. Thanks, bundle. Come on back if you need anything else. All right, I need either your younger brother and or Cecilia, please. Oh <gasps> no, no, I want to hear the music. Oh, the music is so good. I like all the remixes I've heard so far, like the new versions of it. Oh, Deride, is that actually an ad campaign? My brain has to plant in 3x3 three three grids. I'm the same in pretty much every other game, except for this one. Question, yes. Celia is everything, I mean, she is. Oh, she's so cute, hi. Vesta puts more love and care into her crops than anyone I know. That's why all of our produce tastes so good. Aside, do you want to purchase anything? See, I always feel bad because I usually purchase from Vesta. And then uh, Celia asks and I'm like, I already got everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's fine. Come back again soon. Okay, you're always welcome. Do you want a flower? No, no. <laughs> Is everything all right? Um... No, I, I... Flower? Oh wow, that's so delightful how lucky you are. It's all yours. There we go. You really mean it. You're too kind, Crystal. I'll take, the, I'll take very good care of it. When is the voting going to stop for the marriage candidate? Um, I'm thinking maybe sometime midway through fall. We can do what we did in my last playthrough where we like got married midway through fall. I feel like that's a good idea. Okay kind of gives us a chance to get to know everyone. And by everyone, I mean those two, but also like, you know, talk to everyone else. See, I go, like, I'm pretty sure her name was Celia in the original and it's Cecilia now. I'm probably gonna bounce between the two. Oh, wow, the dig site looks great. I should probably go plant my crops, mind you. Okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm just being nosy. Are their diaries still in their old locations? That's a good question. Let's go see if we can check. Yeah, I might need a reminder to end the voting. <laughs> might need a reminder. But again, if you guys have any uh, interest in who we're going to marry for this place, you guys get the choice between Matthew and uh, Cecilia. Um, oh. Ugh. Uh, her diary was at the end of her bed, wasn't it? Oh! Okay, so it's not at the end of her bed anymore, but it's still- there's still a diary. Who decides a bit? Yeah. Okay, let's go home and actually plant and water stuff and then- Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. I was gonna go say hi to- Murray or whatever his name is now. Yo, what's up? Wrong way, bud. Over here. Oh god. I'm sorry to any rock fans in there. I'm not big on him. <laughs> uh, playing hooky from farm work to go for a stroll, huh, Crystal? I see how it is. Hey, hey, I'm just messing with you. Don't sweat it. It looks like you were having a staring contest with the river, so I figured you were probably just overworked or something. Not everyone gets this level of concern from a stud like me, by the way. Just saying. 
Anyway, listen, you've got to relax your shoulders. I've never seen anyone so tense in my life. If you don't take the time to chill, I'm just gonna chew you out and spit you back out. Um, come on, let's hang out and shoot the breeze. I know that look. You're thinking, wow, this guy is so cool. I gotta know more about him, right? Yeah, still very full of it. I vote we date the cutest person or the cute person. Overconfidence is not attractive. No. Well, first of all, thank you. I'm flattered, really. Second of all, you're in luck because I'm happy to reintroduce myself as many times as you need. The name's Rock. I live at the layover inn with my parents. Gotta be a good son to watch over him. You know how it is. Oh, but that's uh, easy stuff. We gotta dig deeper. Let me tell you a few of my favorite things. Hope you're ready for this. I'm all about taking it easy. No work, no pressure, no nothing. Just me, myself, and I live in the dream. People do whatever they want in Forgotten Valley. That's what makes it awesome, you know? So you'd think an all-play, no-work lifestyle would be chill here, but everyone's got a problem with it, and I'm just like, why? <laughs> he who doesn't work doesn't eat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Too. Aw, oh, come on, you're one of them? Everybody says work is so important, but I do not get it at all. Well, you do you. I'm gonna live my best life, and there's nothing anyone can do to stop me. Catch you around, Crystal. I hope his parents kick him out. One of the rare people who like rock, don't ask me why. See, then again, I want to, like, again, make sure everyone knows if you like rock, please don't let me dissuade you. <laughs> Or make you feel bad. He's just not for me. You know? Oh, hi! Uh, is it Pui? Is that how we'd say that? Uh, traveling to Coco Island very far away is a dream of mine. But to get there, my purse must jingle jangle very loudly. I traded many items of mine for coins, but still it was not enough. You have the face of a good person, yes, I can tell. Would you help your good new friend Pui's dream happen? Yeah, moi. Now buoy. Oh, you- <laughs> That mat spun around with you. His money must jingle jangle, not fold. Greetings and hello. A trip to the wondrous Cocoa Island is my goal, but no money is a thing. Can you spare some jingle jangle, friend? Your friend Bowie will sing a happy tune if you do. Dude, I love you. Take it. We big spenders in this- in this farm. <laughs> Look at his happy little face! Thank you for loosening your purse of coins, friend. Coco Island dances closer now. Yes, many, many thanks. I hope you'll come back again. Coco Island is so close and yet so very far away. I don't remember if he ever mentioned the name of the island he wanted to go to in OG. I can't get over this music. <laughs> okay, are these fields the same? Like... Cause... Okay. When I was younger, I used to do like up and down patterns. Oh, these are bigger. I think. Um, but now I'm just tempted to do my... Checkerboard pattern? What did you guys all do? If you've already been playing. I didn't buy enough seeds. May have mentioned the DS port, but not the OG GameCube one. Checkerboard nostalgia. I'm really appreciating that we have the stamina meter now, too. I think so far that's kind of my favorite thing. I know when I first was playing Harvest Moon games, like after Wonderful Life, like the DS ones and stuff, where they were really introducing stamina meters, I didn't really like it. But I value being able to see my stamina so much now. I wonder if I'll be able to water this much. I guess we'll see. One way to find out. This is going to be very off-center chat and kind of random to mention, but I cannot stop smelling bacon. No one in my house has had bacon, <laughs> but it reeks of bacon in here right now. Uh, let's 
two, three, four, five, six. Twelve. Four, five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, Ducky, I'm doing a vote. I'm doing a vote between uh, Celia and uh, Matthew. Okay. He looked closest to my age. I felt less weird marrying him. Maybe the other two looked old enough to be my dad from back when I was 10. Yeah, the OG... The the designs of the OG boys was not the best. Because <laughs> they weren't initially made to be marriage candidates, right? I'm not going to work at the farm and I was like, I changed my mind. I'd rather be single. <laughs> Alrighty, you know what? This isn't going to be an even number and we're not going to fill up the entire field, but... It's okay. We got to start somewhere. I don't think Vesta is going to be open when I go back, so. Yeah, his kid is cute. His kid is cute. I will agree with you there. I have a... Here we go. Oh, that sound effect. <laughs> I almost feel like I shouldn't have done the checkerboard. I feel like I should have done my OG design. They have so many more forageables to pick up, I feel like. I do love a forageable, of course. <laughs> my my poor little guy uh, pretty much survived off forageables for like the first year when I was a kid. I've done lines this time around. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do those next time. <laughs> for now, you know what? We gotta start somewhere. We learned our lesson. Um, I feel like watering would be a lot easier as well. Hi, cutie. You just hanging out? Can I still move you? <laughs> Mistakes are learning. I want to give you another snuggle, but it's not letting me right now. Oh, there we go. Um, so I guess to get ourselves some more mun muns, I will actually sell these through here for now. Okay, that's- oh, it even tells you ahead of time how much that's gonna give you. I like that. It's good to know. Um, let's get you back in for the night. And where's the fodder thing? Okay, so we have- um, I like that you can take out multiple. Uh, we have 30, now 28 in there. The stakes are learning. I was like, that isn't a nice thing to call a customer. <laughs> yeah, but random wanted to call it mistakes. Where's the bell? Do I ring the bell from the outside? <gasps> oh, interesting. Okay, so there isn't like an indoor bell. That's cool. Alrighty, it is eight o'clock. Um, let's just go chat with people, I guess. Take a look around. I always love this area at night. Oh, Daryl, I see you. Come here. <laughs> He's amazing. <laughs> My research focuses primarily on energy efficiency. A fascinating topic, isn't it? Perhaps I'll let you sit in on one of my experiments sometime. Please do. Oh wow, this area looks pretty different too. Got some more flowers. I'm gonna scoop up so that I can woo everyone in this valley. Slowly. My favorite mad scientist, he's so funny. 
he is 110% worth the effort to befriend. Oh, it's so pretty back here. Oh, I really love these. I kind of... Mm, I don't know if I prefer them looking more flower-like or more gem-like. This is such a pretty area. By the way, friends, uh, if you guys are just joining us and I haven't already asked since you've been here, or maybe you'd like to answer now, uh, question of the day. That emote is such a mood. Me this morning, though. <laughs> um, question of the day. What is your favorite farming sim? What's your favorite farming sim? I know it's a hard question. <gasps> Can I go see the friends? There's a weird looking mushroom here. Eat it? Yep. Yep. That's what you do. Just gonna make coffee? Enjoy. Gran Turismo. <laughs> All the music. Let me teach you something. It's a recipe all the humans of Forgotten Valley have been talking about. You should make it too. Tomokaro. Oh, that's like a hybrid, right? Salad? Sorry, Crystal. I don't have any recipes to teach you. That doesn't seem like... Oh, I'm talking about that. Can I bug the pot for a daughter? Something in there, no? Sorry, no, no, no. No new recipes right now. Okay. Oh, a Rune Factory game. I don't think many people have mentioned those so far. Mushrooms are just like that. Harvest Moon DS, yeah. Harvest Moon DS was really, really fun. I don't play Farming Sims. I watch you play them. I, I appreciate that. I'm assuming I should probably go to bed here soon, but... I kind of just want to wander. Mike Chon, you have an amazing day at work. Oh, I actually just saw the lights go off in there. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Your Rune Factory is quite a bit of fun. It took me a bit to get into. I wasn't so sure about it when I was younger. Uh, journal? Are you journal? Save. Okay. Okay, cool. Game load super fast too. I think the Switch title might be worth. Oh, is he playing on Switch too? That's really cool. I was gonna ask anyone in here if you're playing it on Switch. I'd love to know your experience with how the game's running. Uh, I got on PS5 purely because I wasn't fond of how Boot and uh, Rune Factory 5 ran on Switch, but. Did they change anything in this remake? So far, a lot of names have been changed. I think to be more closely based on their Japanese names. And um, a lot of quality of life stuff. And like music and visuals, obviously. Oh, that's cute. Nami's still around. She still has her OG name as well. Luck today is good. Eat a good meal, then get some rest. Your smile will bring good fortune. Okay. I think those are usually... I don't usually watch a lot of the TV. They really mount a stardew, but Sandrock looks really interesting. Sandrock is great. Oh, you have food automatically. There's already food here. Did Takakura do that? Oh, wait. Is he here this morning? Can I love on him? That is the sweetest thing. He said he didn't really like dogs. Oh, he's not in here, but I can snoop. Beautiful woman is smiling in the photo with a young man. Could that be Takakura? Takakura might get it said if you open his fridge without permission. <laughs> Takakura keeps his kitchen surprisingly tidy. He left a note on the counter. Easy, delicious soup recipe. One egg. Learn the recipe for question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, cool. So I guess I have that in my recipe list now? Paul, it's going so well. I am- I've been up since before 6 a.m. I am just living my best life at the moment. Just one of- one of those eggs. That's all we need. Oh yeah, this- well, it grew. I don't know if it spread, but... Custard, how are you doing this morning, my baby? Oh, 
Oh, the new move's a little different. Oh, sorry, that's not the snuggle button anymore. But the animations are still there, you know? They still do, yeah. So when we get chickens, we're gonna want, I guess, one rooster and a whole bunch of hens, probably. Uh, as far as I know, it's still very similar in this game. So, nope. Uh, where was I viewing my money? Well, there it is. Uh, I guess he hasn't gone yet? Or I didn't pick up my money yet. I don't know when we get money. Okay. Maybe not yet. Hey, Pine Little, how are you doing? Usually five? Okay. Dr. Norma, hello! I'm doing good, how are you? Oh. Daily training, very important, chat, very important. Oh. I made you do extra spins, I'm sorry. Okay, so those still look like I don't need to water them at the moment. It looks like we got some more forageables. I feel like they didn't grow back every day in OG, but um, at least so far, they've grown back really quickly here. Welcome back, affection. Just having some coffee? Sounds good. I made sure to get some energy drinks for today. I knew I needed to be, like, up and ready. Um... So I guess we can't really do any fishing or anything like that yet because Van's not here. I'm assuming he'll be here on like the the third and the eighth, probably. No new requests. Okay. Oh, you're that person from the farm. I am. I'm sorry to interrupt your run. Wanting to fix the relationship with their players after Cyberpunk, but they ended with I actually believe Cyberpunk on launch was way better than it was received. Their first reviews were positive, then it became a cool thing to not like it. No, your game was bad, and you should acknowledge that. Oh dear. Yeah, I sometimes you gotta just not put your foot in your mouth. Husband got me a new Sailor Moon mug. It's one of those where the heat Oh, it changes with the uh temperature of whatever's in it. That's cool. Post pictures of it warm and cold later. Okay, so these flowers didn't respawn, but these forageables did. Is everything all right? Um, I'm here to chat. <laughs> Hi there and welcome! Best to put some more love and care into your crops than anyone I know. Um... How much is the fertilizer? Did I even bother checking yesterday? I don't think I did. I also didn't plant that tree yet. I should probably do that. Fertilizer... It's only 20? Oh! That's not bad at all. They were like, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm done. Okay. And, oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. I, I, I like both of you, but... I, okay, okay. I'm stuck. <laughs> hey, good to see you. Where can the fields tires you out? Anyway, are you here to shop? I am not. Well, if you're sure, come again anytime. How's your farm coming along? If you need advice on crops, ask Vesta. I am stuck. There we go. They swapped places. Is everything all right? I'm here to chat. It's all yours. Yeah, this game just came out today. So it's kind of been like a long time coming. I don't know 
what Matthew likes. I don't really remember. I know in... Like, DS. In DS Cute, I think he really liked, like, wine and stuff, but I don't think that's a thing in this game. Yeah, I figured he would be playing it also. Oh, maybe we could go mining today. If they're in there. Mr. Rogers, welcome on in. Yeah, this is a Story of the Seasons game, so similar-ish. Greetings, you're the young, uh, inheritor of the farm, I presume. My name is Carter, a pleasure to meet you. If you ever wish to lend a hand at the dig site, just say the word. Oh, um, hello there. You must be Crystal, I take it. Well, I'm Flora. I'm an archaeologist. Ar I cannot say this word. Archaeologist. There we go. I help Professor Carter with the dig site. I'm still just the person I hope to see. Do you have some time to help us at the dig site today? Uh, yeah, but explain it first. I'm curious if this changed. Matthew is really easy now. What does he like? You can just let straight up let me know. Seal help. Excellent. In that case, allow me to explain the basics of what we do here. And rest assured, it's easy work. Simply use your shovel to dig into a patch of earth. You might discover an ancient uh, artifact. She'll give you a special bag for digging so that you may view and store the items you unearth. When you finish digging for the day, you may either head over to the dig site entrance or speak with me. When you do, I'll review your finds and return them to you. Should you find anything of archaeological value, however, I will need to take it off your hands. should also warn you that you cannot keep uh, your items on you while working the dig site, so make sure you've eaten something beforehand. Give you your shovel then. History awaits, my friend. Happy digging. Oh, cool. Okay, so it's just the tiny patch. Like in OG. Off work tomorrow for max farming. That's what I like to hear. Found something pecu peculiar, I think that said. Ace, how was your trip to work? Milks, eggs, crops, and herb soup. Okay. That's not too bad. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to... Can I not dig there because you're there? Reminds you of Doraemon. Yeah. I mean, same creators pretty much, right? Oh. Ugh. Okay, the... Selecting is a little wonky, but I think I'll just need to get used to it. You got it for like a split second. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Come on, I want that square. You know there's got to be goods in there. <laughs> Flora. Oh, Carter. No. No, I, I was trying to mash square, hoping it would help. Yeah, hopefully your ink arrives. I remember you mentioning it yesterday. So Ace, um, I don't want to get too much into spoilers, but how how did you enjoy Final Fantasy 16? I was going to say 15. I really want that last square. <laughs> Give me. I don't know if this game is like OG where you can kind of just sit there and dig in the same spot and you'll like still get stuff. Okay, so maybe it'd be better to come in here when Flora is not here as much. Oh, I saw it briefly. As much as I love her. Gosh, try I'm just gonna go. OG7, where I want to grind everything all at once. Yeah. We'll finish digging for the day I take it. What was the last story beat, Mendlin? Very well then, shall we head outside? Very good, I want to keep playing more, I'm very early on. I know what you mean, I was playing this morning. And as excited as I was for this, I was also just like Final Fantasy 16 though. Oh, they didn't used to play this song here. Interesting, okay. Another productive day digging for you, I hope. Allow me to examine what you found. Found this. 
<laughs> I don't, don't even need to see your face. Hmm, there doesn't appear to be anything of archaeological significance, I'm afraid. Feel free to take today's findings home with you. You've earned them. That's all for today. I hope we can count on your continued assistance. God, that was funny. <laughs> I feel like I'll finish 16 soon. I feel like the game's giving me the last chance to do all the side missions. Yeah. Got the final hit on, but just a simple fireball to its butt. Oh, we love, we love a swag finish. Felt under level for the enemies in the Northern Crater. So you're working on fixing that. <gasps> Gustafa, hello. And where should I play my guitar? I'm... I don't know, like, he's another one that got a bit of a change, design-wise. I don't think I hate it, but I'm also gonna have to take some time to get used to it. Hey, that looks nice, is it for me? It is, actually. Oh, seriously, I owe you one. There we go. Not for you. <laughs> me and Rock, not besties. I love how the valley looks. It looks so good. It's still very true to its original self, but it's, it's definitely a lot more bright and colorful. You know what we haven't tried yet? Oh, uh, sorry. Still getting used to this menu. Oh, the turtle! Wait. <laughs> Wait, this is more important than anything else I could have potentially done. Hi! The turtle is easy to recognize by its red bandana. I wonder where it got that. It's so cute! Majestic. Small critique with a wonderful life. It's the same with Stardew. I don't like how music just stops and starts. Yeah, this game... Gosh, it won't let me pick it up. <laughs> uh, this game always had that going on with it, definitely, where... It kind of leaves you just to ambient noise, especially when you're wandering around town. Um, playing on my own, I don't mind that, but during stream, I tend to be like, oh, it's really quiet. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> oh, Crystal, is your farm uh, doing well? If you ever end up with a dairy surplus, I'll gladly take any extra milk. I think I actually have some. I feel like I should probably be selling it, but I want to make friends too. It's to be milk from your farm. May I have it? Absolutely. Aren't you a sweetie? Thank you. It just goes to show you'd never know unless you ask. You prefer ambient sounds over music? Yeah. I think it's just one of those little personal preference things. Is there still the mini game in here? I never understood it. Well, there I'm cool. Second best crafter of world class fireworks. Good to meet you. And just in case you were wondering, my twin brother Charlie's the best. At your normal abode, but this is home to us. Just uh, try not to bump into anything, eh? Try to make the fireworks with our secret family recipe. He's the best pyrotechnician the world's ever seen. I'm trying to leave. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm trying to. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to get out of your way. Hmm. Welcome to the valley. Name's Charlie, crafter of the world's best fireworks. Don't confuse me with my brother Cole. His are only second best. They always go on about this and it's kind of sad. Like, I don't know. <gasps> Lumina, hello. Ah, uh, Crystal, how do you do? I'm so glad they aged her up. Oh, I simply love what you have there. I'd hate to presume, but is that for me? It's yours. Yes, I mean, uh, what a thoughtful gift, my thanks. Music just randomly starts and finishes, depending on what area you're in. Yeah. I like having the option. If a game has good ambience, always vibe. And if the music is an option, I'll turn it down. Or turn it, sorry, on from time to time. Oh, they did this area well. 
Why, hello there, sweetie. You're more than welcome to visit whenever you find yourself with time to spare. I'm here to give gift. Oh. Gracious, is that for me? You bet. Why, thank you, old treasure, it always. Gotta get in everyone's good books, chat. Gotta make all the besties. It's locked. Okay, I... I see, playing Harvest Moon DS, that was like somewhere the witch princess would hang out, I think. <gasps> Kitties! Hi! This villa cat is definitely adorable, but you can't take it outside with you. Okay. How about this one? Gosh, Jordan, let me take it. <laughs> let me love it. Sebastian! Ah, you're the Valley's newest resident, Crystal. Yes, managing a farm is sure to be taxing, but I wish you success in your... travails? For my part, I shall endeavor to serve uh, Mistress Romana to the best of my ability. Okay, let's see. Do you have any recipes in here? Oh! Fine, this is the perfect place to set one's mind at ease, though perhaps I am biased in that regard. It's a picture of a beautiful building on top of the chest with some sort of... Some sort of jump scare that scared the crap out of me. Hello. Just a quick jump in. I'm at work. But how's it going? Do you like it so far? I love it. Starseeker Yuki, thank you so much for the three month resub. I appreciate it. I'm absolutely loving it. It is everything the OG had, but it has so much quality of life improvement so far. Oh, I learned a recipe for something. I didn't even read it. All right. Um, uh, I should probably head back and tend to my farm a little bit here. Waiting forever for this game. I can't believe it's finally here. I still can't believe it's actually happening, or has happened. I guess. Um, when I first saw this reveal, I was like, "There's no way. They're they're not actually doing it." <gasps> Nina and Galen, or uh, Gary. I'll get used to it. Nina! You're the new farmer, aren't you? My husband Gary and I are getting on in years, you see, so we decided to savor the time we have left by staying here in Forgotten Valley. Gifts. Wow, that sure is nice. You're giving it to me. Of course. Oh, oh she doesn't do the ear piercing. Oh, noise anymore. Why, thank you. That's ever so nice of you. We are in the best timeline. We are. We are. Oh. Well, hey, if it ain't Crystal. Hi. It's set in and okay? Glad to hear it, but you've never worked on a farm before, right? That's gotta be tough. If you ever find yourself in trouble, I'd be happy to lend a hand. I will be uploading these to YouTube, yeah. I'm gonna try to have this first part out uh, probably tomorrow morning. Oh, let me go tell my brother Matt to pitch in too. I've been teaching the ins and outs of agriculture, so I hope you'll uh, let us help you out. Get it? Oh god. Hey, Matt, come here! <laughs> oh, moody boy. What? I'm busy. It can wait, just come here. Here's the deal, little bro. If Crystal is ever in a bind, you be sure to give her your full support, alright? What? Why? Because the valley's a hopping place with Crystal around. If she ended up back in her bags and leaving because she couldn't hack it, it'd be a crying shame. Hopping. I guess I've seen more people wandering around, maybe. Oh, there you go with your prickly pear act again. Whoa, wait just a gosh darn second. Something I forgot to take care of. Freight is real urgent, so I gotta make like a fruit tree and leave. Huh? Sorry to cut and run, Crystal. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> Puns win me over. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm counting on you, Matt. What? Hey, wait. Sorry about Festo. She's not exactly the best listener. Oh, I'm glad it doesn't bother you. Uh, so yeah. Uh, anyway, what's up? Are you having trouble with your crops? Need any help? He is cute. What is this, Jen? <laughs> oh no, my heart is really torn. Oh, uh, good. Good. Well, um, I've got work to do, so bye. <laughs> he runs off. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> I don't know how to talk to people either. <gasps> Hi! Okay, sorry. I was actually trying to meet up with him to give him the milk since now I know what he likes. Thank you again. I'm guessing that's from your farm. What are you, Sharon? It's all yours. Uh, wow. I mean, thanks. Why are there so many cuties here, chat? This is not good. Uh, okay. So we have one heart already with Cecilia. <laughs> Why do we have a heart with Rock? <laughs> I shunned him earlier. That's funny. <gasps> Takakura, I love you. All right, you fed my pupper. Is there anything you're unsure about? I'm here to answer your questions. Some things are better learned by doing, though. Wouldn't hurt to wander around the valley and chat up some folks either. You'll probably learn a thing or two along the way. If I'm not around, check the notebook I left in your house on the side table by your bed. It's got a bunch of notes on the farm. I feel like he loves being rejected. He's into that. <laughs> now, I know I'm going to sound like a real pain in your rear for asking this, but you should settle down and get married as soon as you can. It's your old man's dream to run a farm with his family, so just keep it in mind. That's all I'm saying. He's like, go have children. Hi. I need to get you a brushy, don't I? Oh, no. Not. I'm sorry. I'm going to do that a lot. That's not the snuggle button. <laughs> Make baby, pretty much. There we go. Thank you. Does he like milk? I'm gonna give him some. <gasps> Thank you for the follow! Welcome on in! Is this milk from the farm? Want me to give it a taste test or something? Yes, please. I don't mind if I do. I think, yeah, I think he wants to essentially play grandpa. He's- he's a, such a sweetheart. Before I start giving away the rest of it. I'm gonna put that in there. I should probably plant that apple tree and we're gonna do some watering here too. Does he like fish as well? Okay, good. I think Van is gonna be here tomorrow or whatever his name might be these days. Um, and I'll buy a fishing rod. Also, by the way, friends, if you guys are new or um, maybe you haven't been around in a while, oh, I watered the wrong spot. We do have a Discord if you guys would like to join. Um, I was just thinking, I don't know if any of the mods are available to do it, but maybe we could have a Story of Seasons dedicated section for the next little while for this game specifically. If people want to post what their farmer looks like, what they've done with their farm, I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, and if no mods are available, I'll just do it after. Okay, what else can I do? I can put away our origables, I guess. Um, and I also got some fertilizer. Actually put that down. Thank you, Mendelin. I appreciate it. I just, I was just thinking it might just be a good idea. With the three by three square, right? Now question, 
for our, our OG Harvest Moon fans in here, when you do the three by three square, do you leave a hole out of the center to make like a donut or do you leave a hole out of one of the sides? I always make an upside down U. Did I miss a spot when I was watering? You missed one? Oh, thank you. Bear with me. There we go. I want my full field of grass, please and thank you. You removed a hole in the middle. Let's see. Oh, I did! Good eyes, chat. Thank you. Uh, hole in the middle? Oh, I feel like the odd one out now. Star Radius, they had the biggest impact on me. You played them the most. I agree. Pretty much same here. What recipes have I picked up? Oh, okay. So tomato and carrot salad. Um, uh, that one's for eggs and just veggies. Maybe I should look into how much chickens and stuff cost. Okay, we don't have a lot of money, mind you. Okay, so normal cow. Ooh, these get pricey. Star cow, sheep. Oh, the sh oh, okay. The sheep have a different design. They're cute. I don't remember the sheep having genders in the original. I could be wrong. I don't think I think I only usually had one sheep. You got yourself a chicken first day. Oh, they're actually not that expensive. Oh, okay, the, the ladies are a bit more expensive. <laughs> Fill a grown hen will lay eggs every day. Maybe I'll let me see how much the chicken feed costs first. Thank you, Mentalin. There you go. If you guys want to post anything about this game in particular, feel free. Order feed. Bird feed, fodder. I remember this. Don't use that a lot. I remember that. Uh, leave a bag of this in your coop's feed bin. Your birds will flock over to eat. So maybe I'll get a couple of these and then I will order that chicken. It's going to leave us with not very much money, but a fun stream idea. Do share. Chicken. All right. Uh, I'm assuming we're going to name the chicken when it comes in. So start thinking up chicken names, friends. Put a rock there. Oh, because it bothered you if a wee grew. That's smart. That's smart, actually. Bolster your Mario Kart 8. And you just play the baby park course. Affection readers hacked? <laughs> Am I- should I be concerned? Did I miss something? <laughs> who be if who- who be affectioning? Who be hacking affection on- on their birthday? Affection's trying to kill you? Okay, well maybe. <laughs> Please no baby park. <laughs> Birthday, yes, indeedy. Oh, I didn't mean to. There we go. Oh, can I teach you something fun? I learned a new recipe. I heard some humans talking about it, so it's got to be good. Tomato salad. I think we're actually going to be able to make that one if that's melon and tomato. Oh, are we ready for Who's That Pokemon? I know, I'm ready. Who's That Pokemon? I'm always so concerned you won't be able to hear that. You guys have to let me know every day. Especially when I'm playing, like, a game that's not through the usual system I play through. Uh, OBS-wise. So I feel like we have so much energy, but I don't have any, like, fishing rods. Oh, apple tree. <laughs> that's what I wanted to do. So I don't have the big field yet. I guess I'll just plant it here. Assuming I need to hoe the ground first. I hope- I'm pretty sure it's just a full squares all the way around, yeah? 
but not for jokes. My next mission, as you know, is Final Fantasy IX to be streamed. Today's Pokemon is a Steel type and has two evolutions in its line, chat. Uh, oh, oh, that's cool. I like that. So I know it said it didn't have to be watered, but just for the first day. There you go. Can I organize my inventory? Sort. I don't know if that sort all of them, but okay. Also, uh, storage. Let's like keep some things. I always like to keep stuff. Bit of a pack rat in games. IRL, not at all. I like to get rid of stuff. I still water mine. I feel weird not doing it. Yeah. Also, when is the event for this season? I thought there was an event every... season? Looks like... Okay, uh, journal. I cannot get over this music. I'm gonna have this stuck in my head for like the rest of the week. <laughs> and I'm not mad about it. So... Oh yeah, look at that. Clay figurine, a clay statue molded in the shape of a person. Van might like to buy it. First Van beginning spring two. That's cool. I like that it shows you that. Oh, you know what? True New Year's festival. Good point. I always forget about that one. Oh, hi. <laughs> Just his face. Hey, there's a note from Takakura. Hope you're getting used to things here. Check my notes if you have any questions, Takakura. Um, what's in my house? Maybe if you live here long enough, you can expand the place a bit. Yes. I know how to cook. Uh, I've been learning recipes already, playing records. I left a record player in your house. Every job's a little easier when you got a good tune to whistle to. <laughs> your dream came true. Uh, you can get your hands on... Uh, any new records, or if you, sorry do, uh, put them on the record player and you're all set. Got a lot of music lovers in the valley. If you get along with them, they might give you an old record or two. Okay, deposit box. Cool. It did! Ace, yeah, one of the harvest sprites is named Ace. I think it's the red one. I could be wrong. Head outside. Uh, and enjoy the sunshine if you can. The energizing vitamin D might hide from us in a few hours. Luck today is not great. Drink coffee for some extra energy. Today's lucky item is wild grass. It has dawned on me, chat. It has dawned on me. I don't got money for a fishing rod if it's still 500, so I'm going to have to sell some stuff to him later on. Is this the new PC version? It is the new version, yes. I'm playing this on PS5. I know it's also available on Switch. I'm pretty sure it's also on Steam. Uh, and I believe Xbox as well. I'm in this game. Names and games. I want to play that new Penny game they showed off. <gasps> Penny, I think I know the one you're talking about. I remember thinking about you during it. <laughs> pretty sure I remember it. Also have it on GameCube? Yes, it's it's such a nice remake so far. Can't recommend it enough. Looks so cute, but I forget the name. Yeah, I'm I'm struggling. I I, I know what you're on about. Bacchus, hello, how are you doing? Oh, did I leave you outside overnight, sweetheart? I guess I'm lucky it didn't rain. Where's the water trough? You don't have water out here. Wait a minute, that upsets me. Can I not? You need water. <laughs> this is upsetting me more than it should. My virtual cow is not 
staying hydrated. Yeah, I'm relying on you guys to help me, um... Help me figure out who to marry. I am stuck between Celia and Matthew, I think. Or Cecilia, I should say. And Matthew. I think they're both adorable. Um, but I'm gonna let you guys decide. Is that not... Not the water trough next... Next to the canisters. Oh, it's a rock! I'm pretty sure it was wooden in the original. I thought this was just a really weird rock. That has, like, no water in it. What is this nonsense? <laughs> it's no wonder I thought it was a rock. Uh, oh, never mind. I have enough, I think, for the fishing rod if it's the same amount. <gasps> Puppy! Don't you go picking up your puppies and... Tater smells like sunshine? Oh, that's adorable. Um, don't go messing around with your puppies after they've eaten. Don't do what I'm doing. Just looked at the votes and chat has taste. What's the current standing? I was gonna, like, check it in between break, but you guys have been kind of busy. <laughs> See, Ace, <laughs> are you going to go explore the valley? If you want to know what kind of place it is, Takakura wrote a whole bunch about it. I guess they didn't want to, like, give us a whole bunch of tutorials day one. Uh, chat with locals and find out what they like so you can give them some gifts. Want to be on someone's good side, check out the bulletin board and help them with their requests. Uh, I can also help with the dig site and go fishing, too. The dig site's got stuff you won't find anywhere else. Okay, we got a map. Weather's fickle out here, and it rains more often in some seasons, so keep an eye on forecasts. There's a weather program on TV, but it ain't 100% accurate, so be ready for anything. Oh, is Matthew in the lead? Really? That's such a swap from this morning earlier on. Who is so smelled like sunshine? She smells like dirt and dog steak. <laughs> Zoe needs a bath. Uh, if you need something you can't order from the city, you should buy from the locals and support their businesses. Uh, for anything corruptly, Vest has probably got it. If you need a quick bite, try the cafe. I haven't been in there yet. We don't have anything too exciting aside from that, though Van the Peddler might. Vest will sell you seeds and fertilizer. Uh, oh, look at <laughs> look at all these cuties. Talk to her or the others on the farm. They'll usually ask if you want to buy anything. God, there's it's such a hard choice which is why i'm really glad i can just leave it up to you guys hey. Hey. hi <laughs> how are things with you getting used to work yet if you ask me it's best to go your own speed no need to rush things she got there looks fantastic would you be willing to part with that i wonder There we go. See, I remember the villagers usually who like flowers and like easy stuff to gift. But I've, I don't think I've ever fully befriended everyone in this game. Closed. Okay. Don't tell me when you open. I don't need to know. <laughs> You're gonna go for Molly's second playthrough? I can't remember if I mentioned this, but I think in my very, very first playthrough of this game, like the original one, I went for Molly and or Muffy. Uh, initially, she had like a like a Marilyn Monroe sort of thing going on, I think. That's kind of what she reminded me of as a kid, at least. Um, and then I had that, I think it's one of her first cutscenes where she comes over to the farm and she has no idea about dogs or farming. And I was like, nope. <laughs> nope, I'm gonna go for my farm girl. <laughs> and that is what made the decision for me. And I, I don't regret it. I've let Pepper know that you're stealing our cat. <laughs> oh, no turtle friend today. It's a bit sad. I really can't wait to do some fishing, especially because I've seen there's like the encyclopedia now. I do love me some fishing in video games chat. Hard to watch, so my way to wash her is in the shower and she hates water. 
Is everything all right? Here to chat. Oh, she has like a little giggle. Oh, hi there, Crystal. Isn't it a wonderful morning? Let's make the most of it. It's such a joy to see all the flowers and plants reinvigorated this time of year. Come here, you. Let me love you. Is everything all right? Oh, oh sorry. Doesn't look like you have what I asked for, but that's okay. Let me know later if you do. Oh, bless. I thought it was going to cancel the request. <laughs> I got excited. I'm sorry. There we go. Song Frontiers has fishing. <laughs> she is a cutie. I want to check out that. We got to find a day. I don't know, maybe like towards the end of the season. Where you can go on the, the was it like the six hour trip? I want to know what that's all about. That's very interesting. I think I may have heard something very briefly about that. Like on Twitter, because I follow a lot of people who were playing this game early. Um, but I didn't look too much into it, I don't think. Um, good morning. It's a great day for digging, don't you think? Uh, what are you doing all the way over here? Hi! Hey, good to see you. I forget what kind of milk I got from you the other day, but it tasted all right. I'd say you're on your way. Anywhere you're here to shop, I'm not. Here to give you more of that same kind of lackluster milk, but we're... Pressing the wrong buttons. Take the other one. <laughs> Guessing that's from your farm. What are you sharing? Not now. Oh. Oh no, is this game doing the same thing? Uh-oh. Okay. He's gonna accept it now, isn't he? Oh no, they didn't fix okay. So in OG. We ran into this a lot when I was streaming it a couple months ago, um, especially with Romana. But pretty much, if they're doing a certain animation, like oftentimes their arms are crossed, they'll refuse gifts until they're back to a more default pose. Hi, Carter. <laughs> Morning, Crystal. Nothing bolsters the spirit quite like good weather, don't you agree? Got another shiny chancy. Someone let me know if they want it. Oh, wow! What game are you getting your uh, your shinies in? That's so strange. Isn't it weird? Isn't it weird? I always thought it was like the weirdest thing and I was really expecting them to fix it. Is that a boat? Or is that just a... Like, I, I can see the island, but is that like a boat next to it? <gasps> oh, Asia, isn't he lovely? I dare hope you'll swing on by and visit us at the Bluebird Cafe anytime you need rest after a long day's work. Fan, I see you. I, I beg your pardon. Uh, hello there. You wouldn't happen to remember me from the other day, would you? Can you, um, can you see that building up there on the hill? The villa, I mean? I live there with my uh, Aunt Romana and our butler, Sebastian. I moved to the valley when I was very young, so I've not been able to sit and chat with many people my own age. But then I heard you had moved in, and I hoped the two of us could get along. Uh, in any case, I do hope we uh, have another opportunity to chat sometime. Until then. <gasps> Thank you for the follow. Also, Starlight, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. Um, question of the day for those who might not have answered yet, by the way, or who would like to answer. Uh, what is your favorite farming sim? I know it's a hard thing to choose, maybe for some people. Good day to you, Forgotten Valley. I'm open for business. Oh, I see he still announces it. Yes, come peruse my wares at your leisure. I'm certain I have all that you need. Uh, Kippy, I think she's been good. She's been working. I know it's like the end of the school year right now. Or it was the end of the school year, so she was busy with marking. 
Good day, I'm but a humble traveling salesman who wanders the world. I offer others the chance to own a number of rare and unique items. My wares will be available for purchase on the 3rd and on the 8th of every month, so please drop by. I'm wondering if he comes other times, because I know at least in my version, in the GameCube version, he often came other days as well. Arctic Fox, I'm doing fantastic. How are you today? My humble place of business. How many of you have service? Uh, I want to see what you've got, sir. Something piques your fancy. Uh, first off, the fishing rod. Second, I really do want that brush. Energy drink. I got one of those. It's red also. <laughs> Power drink. Do not drink more than one dose at a time. So restores a bit of stamina. Restores energy. Restores lots of stamina. Yeah, yeah I think it was like uh, the PS2 version, the GameCube version. But yeah, the animations were very slow. This is such an improvement in that regard. Okay, so let's get the fishing rod. You have an impeccable eye for quality. If you'd like to purchase that for 500 gold, you have yourself a deal. Thank you very much for your business. It was a good game for a farming game newbie. I've dabbled in Stardew a tiny bit, but otherwise never played any. Um, you know what? Bear with. Let me let me sit here and talk about that for a second. Because it's a really good question. I just don't know if time was passing in that menu. <laughs> um, so this game's very different than a lot of other farming sims. It's much slower paced, which might actually be a good thing for someone who isn't so used to farming sims. Um, it, uh, it has a, it has some different qualities. For example, like Stardew and a lot of the other Story Seasons games, they go a lot more quickly, uh, and there's a lot more emphasis on min-maxing and like, you know, getting your big field of blueberries or star fruits or whatever going in Stardew, for example. Um, this game has some of that, and I'm sure this remake probably has a bit more in terms of farming in it, but it's very much about your relationships with people and watching this story unfold. Um, I'm biased as heck, and I would say try it. <laughs> um, but it's also not everyone's favorite take on the farming sim. Some people like farming sims for, like, feeling busy. This is very chill. So. 3D game protagonist running a store. Similar art style to this. I don't remember her name. Oh, and your 3DS went MA a long time ago. Was it perhaps? Oh, bear with me, chat. Um, there was a game on 3DS, if, if you're sure it was 3DS, that came out. Um, and I remember I was thinking about getting it, but I didn't actually end up getting it. And it might actually fit your description. We were talking about it not that long ago in chat. I'm really blanking on the name. If anyone knows what I'm on about. Has this game so far? It's phenomenal. Oh, Arctic Fox for sure. I appreciate you guys hanging out and watching. A lot more story based. If you love making friends and marrying with kids, you'll love this game. Yeah, it's very cute. Um, oh, Nami, we haven't seen her yet. Everyone's in such a good mood when spring rolls around, but I don't get it. What's there to be excited about? I really love how she looks in this one. I feel a little freaked out, even though it's so cute. Yeah, Stardew can get very, like... It, it, it shouldn't be that much pressure, but it kind of can be. Okay, let's try fishing. Penny is guessing hometown story, maybe? I keep thinking Ever Oasis, but I think I'm wrong. Something along those lines. Okay, so this game is the same, you just need to tap once. Cool, we got our first fish. Was that an RPG? I thought it had, like, shop elements to it, but I, again, I don't think I ever bothered. Whoopsies. Hey kid, I brought you a new animal, come over. Oh, was it an action RPG? <gasps> Chat, I need help. What are we naming our very first ten? Say hello to the newest member of your livestock family. Oh, and you may as well give it a name while you're at it. 
What are we naming her? For reference, I'm trying to stick with food-based names. Our uh, cow is named Custard. Our uh, farm is named Potato Farm. <laughs> Nuggy, Nugget, Daisy. And uh, our dog is named Tater. Short for Tater Tart. Tater Tot. I want to say Tater Tart because I saw what you posted behind. I think I only still eight characters. Let's see. Yep, eight characters total. Tart. Oh, did you also get your Spider-Man pre-order ace? Nice. Cutlet. <laughs> Scramble omelet. What's the word? It's like an egg tart. Uh, quiche. Quiche. What do we think about that? Pime, you and me, literally, that's that that one community brain cell working overtime KFC. <laughs> like quiche, because a lot of people are saying tart, right? What do we think about that? You second scrambling quiche. I like that. I'm also glad you guys typed it because I didn't know how to how to spell it. Same brain coming in clutch. Quiche, good choice. Take good care of this one, all right? Maybe we can name the rooster KFC. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I guess they go outside now, yeah? Um, I'm gonna ask straight up if anyone's been playing this ahead of time, or maybe you know. Um, do chickens, while they're outside, do they pack at the ground? Like, will it be fed? Or... Like, I'm still gonna put down food anyway, but... Uh, we found soft feathers, which means you obtained one bird. You found three of the wonders so far. Uh, large feeding area for birds. Bird feed can be added when the bin is empty. Here we go. They just eat the food you leave them, I think. I was never sure, because I know in OG it was a little bit, like, confusing, but I know other... I don't know why I'm going in here. I know other farming sims. You could just let out your chickens and they just peck at the ground. Clerk dinner time. Enjoy your food! Oh. Yeah, yeah, I've been fertilizing the ground at least, which is a good start. Um, can I like pick you up? Yeah, oh, and we get a little snuggle. There we go. Do you want to come in here? There you go. Maybe you'll eat this. I know one YouTuber said chicken feed can last for a long time, so maybe. Don't get stuck later when you play, Penny. That sounds like a plan. Uh, things don't look like they need to be watered quite yet, so I could probably do a little bit more fishing. I don't want to say you guys have lost me to fishing, but you've you've lost me to fishing. I would commit crimes for that bird. <laughs> this is not a sentence I thought I'd read today. You're gonna order some KFC, oh my god. <laughs> Hello there, Crystal. Since you're here, do you have time for a quick chat? Just adore this view. It always helps me settle down. Rushing water, the gentle breeze, you just don't get this in the city. That's where I used to live, you know, but uh, some things went sour and I ended up moving to Forgotten Valley. Every once in a while, when I'm starting out at the river, or staring out at the river, I think back on my old heartache. <laughs> Just kidding. Clean air in the valley has done wonders for my skin, so I like to make sure I spend some time outside every day. Here, see for yourself. 
you, Crystal. You're such a sweetheart. We really should get to know each other better. I feel like you and I are on the same wavelength. Till next time, then. She's a cutie, though. She just... I don't know. I, I don't know how to describe her redesign other than she looks softer. I don't think that's a word I should be using to describe someone, but... <laughs> it's the only thing I could come up with. She's cute, right? Oh, do they not really get sick too much anymore? Once these fish don't ask us for a favor. Oh. Oh, wait. How did I get that one fish? How am I messing this up? I want to start giving these to, um, I guess his name is Gary now. I don't know where he's hanging out at the moment, though. I know he likes fish, and I always like to try to befriend him early on. Hi, Matthew. Oh, is it hometown story? Oh, that's so cool that you, whoopsies, um, that you were able to find it again. Have you been liking it so far? So far, so good. It's still, it's very calm, laid back self. It's not really like, I don't know. It's not really a stressful experience. It never really usually is. Um, it's very just low key and relaxing. Um, and some people might consider that boring, but I'm, I'm having a blast. Encyclopedic knowledge of games for good. Can't remember if I've told you guys about this before, but for a long time I've been trying to tell Mike about a game I had played really briefly as a kid. Um, it was just a really random game. I don't know where we got it from. It was on PC. And I was sitting there and I, I just could not remember the name. It must have been like a month or two I was trying to remember it. And then one day I was talking to Mike and I happened to say you know, like, kudos to them. I, I, we were talking about something, I don't even remember what it was. And then it dawned on me the game's name was Kudos. And something about just, like, verbally saying that out loud, like, brought back a flood of memories. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. And I had to, like, get over myself to explain to Mike why I was, like, getting excited. <laughs> I'll be all for today, gracious patrons. Apologies, but my shop must close now. So what time is it? Is it six? He closes? There we go. So I noticed we seem to get tired much earlier tonight. I'm wondering if that's because I haven't really eaten anything yet. There we go. I want to talk to you, sweetheart. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna save some of the milk here, too, for recipes. Uh, maybe I'll keep those for selling. I'm slower than the last story seasons. Um, I mean, I can't remember how long it took me to get through a day in Pioneers of Olive Town. I feel like it wasn't that long. Um, I'd say it's probably faster paced. Um, this game's weird though, because you gotta remember, seasons in this game are only 10 days long. Um, which seems very fast, but I feel like the days themselves, oh, the days themselves go by kind of slow. Oh, hey, Crystal. Come here, Zach. Yeah, yeah, come on over to the forest. 
I'll be waiting for you. I'm kind of already here. Spring's still fast asleep. Where the heck's the goddess? That was... Or, that's what this place needs. Betcha she got lost. There's a lot of stuff that needs to happen before the goddess can come here. Oh my god, they're actually talking about it? Oh, that's cool. For one thing, it's gotta look like a spring fit for a goddess. Gotta make it uh, all the animals who live nearby as happy as can be. Gotta collect a bunch of wonderful things. So, let's get to it. We'll gather up all the wonders we can find. We gotta make this place even more wonderful. But what makes something wonderful, anyway? Oh, interesting. We all ready? Time for a wonderful adventure. Adventure, adventure. I am the red one. <laughs> but what are we even looking for? So... I wonder, because we have, um... Wonders collected. I wonder if maybe as... I'm gonna say wonder a lot. Uh, as you collect these, we which are essentially achievements, it seems like. If maybe something will happen there? It's stream game change. Or name change! This is Pine. Relief, it's easier. Forget Lee not- I love that name. That's cute. Super Mario- oh god, Rebecca. <laughs> Every time I forget about that game being a thing, you- we bring it up again. That or the elephant. God, this area is still so just... Did I just... Oh, can I... I don't have to just put him away after every single one? Well, that would have been nice to know ahead of time. Hmm? Weather is growing much warmer. Is Mario a furry? Do elephants have fur? Rebecca here asking the real questions today. We're getting to the the real meat of things chat. <laughs> I'll learn a new recipe I found about I found out about this one recently. For scarlet salad. Cat Mario there is cat Mario true. Bring back so many memories. Thanks so much for streaming. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. This is like pure nostalgia, but it's really cool because when I played this as a kid, I didn't know anyone else who played this really. Never really met any other Harvest Moon people. Um, the idea that I can now stream it and have people to chat with while I'm playing and people are also enjoying it is really cool. You're to <laughs> eat a weird mushroom seed, little guys. It is a bit weird, isn't it? Let's try to go to the cafe. Oh wait, this oh we gotta do that at some point too, but not quite yet. Are you gonna are you going to shut up stop? That was English. Are you going to set up shop today? There's something I want and I was hoping you might have it. Oh wait, the music. I'm sorry, I need to listen to this. It's one of my favorite soundtracks. Oh, they did good. <laughs> uh, Harvest, wait, 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 did I just misread that? You mean Harvest Moon 64 is coming to NSO? Did I misread that? Because if that's the case, I'm very excited. <laughs> I never actually played it. Didn't have an N64. I'm trying my best to get into this series, but it's just too slow for me. I really like the SNES version. The SNES version of Harvest Moon is a lot faster too, so that's probably why you enjoyed it. Hi, Vincent, how are you? It's probably starred you. See myself getting into something new though. Uh, you looking to buy something or you got it what can i get you Ooh, orange soda lemon soda herbal tea 
The blue blend, a classic cake or a club sandwich. I don't know if I really want to spend my money on this at the moment, but... Here in Forgotten Valley, everyone marches to the beat of their own drum. Living how they please. I hope you find life here worthwhile, too. Buffy's diary is still here, by the way. I know someone was asking about that earlier. God, I love the music. I don't want to leave. Yeah, I heard... I know the SNES version. Uh, came to NSO. Had two days exams. Only six days to go! Oh, you're so close! Hey, no, no. Go on, there we go. Alright. Nope. <laughs> Today's the day! Hi, Andrew, how are you? The four games are Mystery Tower. Oh, SNES. Okay, I thought it was N64. I was really excited. Yes. Yes, I knew about the SNES one. Uh, if I ring the bell while you're in here, will you go back in on your own? Doesn't Breeze sound good? Oh, I think you did. Okay, let's see. Let's just triple check that, right? Yeah, okay, good. Man, they made this so easy. This is beautiful. Um... Okay, my tree is still growing. Those are watered. Uh... Okay, cool. I need to give some fish to Galen tomorrow. Or Gary. Examine. There we go. Oh, really, Vincent? I hope you have an amazing birthday. No worries. It's all good. It's all good. I don't have my switch in so long. It had to charge up. Uh, Andrew, let me know how you like it on Switch as well. I've been, like, asking everyone all morning since I'm playing on, uh, PlayStation. This game first got announced and we cried, yes. <laughs> I was so not expecting it. was emotional, like, slap to the face. It was great. I loved it. I like these, like, dream sequences you have. Alrighty, friends. Um, quickly here. I do need to get up and have a stretch break. I usually try to have a stretch break right in the middle of the stream. Give or take. I might go on a bit longer today. We'll see how we do. Um, but if you guys want to join me, get up, stretch, grab yourselves a drink or a snack. If you're heading out, thank you so much for hanging out. But if you're sticking around, enjoy the BRB videos. I need to do the next ones for this month, actually. Um, and I'll be back in about 10-ish minutes. 